An even more strangely shaped weapon is the ring or wheel, a metal hoop with sharp blades around the perimeter. Popular around a millennia ago, during the Song Dynasty, they came in a huge variety of forms. The crescent-shaped spade is derived from an everyday tool, but it was never used for digging. Most people were prohibited from owning conventional weapons like swords, so they adapted spades and other agricultural tools as weapons. Like the spade, this rake is another farming tool that has been modified for lethal intent. Kung Fu weapons don't have to be big to kill. Erme needles are only around 25 centimeters long. The points at both ends make them particularly dangerous at close range. The ring pivot at the center of each needle improves grip, enabling the thin needle to stab with deadly force. Looped onto the middle finger, Erme needles are twirled to distract and confuse the enemy. As with dark judge brushes, the enemy's temples, eyes and throat are the target. The Erme needles and the rake are exotic weapons. They work because they're unexpected. Unlike obvious weapons like the sword, weapons that looked like farm tools were easy to disguise, which made them difficult for the authorities to discover and confiscate. The dang is another weapon that is easily disguised as a farm tool. Only the profusion of sharp points gives the secret of its real use away. The dang first appeared around five or six hundred years ago. It can be used as a spear or to hold the enemy at bay. Hoop-shaped exotic weapons may be hard to handle, but thanks to their profusion of sharp points and cutting edges, they maximize the chances of hitting an opponent's vital areas. Rings can even hold their own against long weapons. In skilled hands, they can immobilize larger weapons with locking moves. Double mallets are one of the oldest weapons in the Kung Fu arsenal. Adding sharp edges to a cudgel increases its ability to crack skulls and break bones. Mallet heads can be rectangular, oval, melon or diamond shaped. Regardless of their shape, they have only one use, to bludgeon an enemy into submission. Extremely powerful, the iron mallets can strike lethal blows. Twin hooks are double weapons, one for each hand. They are hook-shaped swords with an extra crescent-shaped blade on the handguard. They act as four weapons in one. The hook blocks the enemy's blow. The main blade chops and slashes. The pointed tip at the bottom stabs like a dagger. And the crescent-shaped blade around the handguard can slice up the opposition. Some of the strangest Chinese weapons don't look like weapons at all. 
A strange means not usually seen. A strange weapon is something that you wouldn't normally regard as a weapon. Influenced by his antique dealer father, 29-year-old An Ran has been collecting weird-shaped and unexpectedly disguised lethal weapons from all over China since the age of 20. This is called Yan Dou Jian. This is a tobacco pipe sword. When least expected, a blade suddenly appears to strike at an enemy, who is caught totally off guard. A genuine antique, this tobacco pipe sword is several hundred years old. Dating from the Qing dynasty, its thin, hidden blade marks it out as an assassin's stealth weapon. Anran now has over 300 weapons in his collection. The strangest of the lot is this 400-year-old iron claw. It looks like an instrument of torture, but it's not. As his name implies, it used in combat to claw at an enemy. This is where you found its lethal effect. It used to be cutting edges here, as well as sharp tips. These were the main killing areas. As for the claw, its main use wasn't in fact for killing. Catching the enemy off guard and preventing him from escaping, you simply place it on his shoulder and lock it tight. Escape will be difficult, if not impossible. Most kung fu fighting is done up close and personal, but sometimes hand-to-hand -hand combat is not appropriate. One of the best weapons for long-range attacks is the rope dart. The dart was used primarily as a stealth weapon to launch sudden attacks from behind on unsuspecting victims. The rope dart is composed of a rope usually about four meters long with a metal dart at the end. The dart is either conical or diamond shaped and between 16 to 20 centimeters long. The red cloth is not for decoration. Placed 20 centimeters from the dart, it confuses the enemy's vision. The rope dart is an extremely difficult weapon to master. The rope dart makes use of energy from the fighter's neck, shoulders, elbows and other joints to attack from a distance. The meteor hammer is the flying dart's big brother. Like the flying dart, it is spun on a rope, but its heavier weight makes it spin faster and strike harder. Meteor hammers are used singly or in pairs. In the single version, the rope is approximately five meters long. One end of the rope is tied to the wrist. The other is connected to a bronze melon-shaped hammer. The meteor hammer is the military version of smaller flying weapons. It is a distinctively Chinese weapon that can be traced back to the Warring States period of around 400 BC. Water-filled pots bring home the full, devastating force of the meteor hammer. More powerful than its little brother, the rope dart, the meteor hammer can pulverize a pot from a distance of four meters. Skulls are harder than clay pots, but smashing them is just as easy for the meteor hammer. But the most lethal Chinese weapon of ancient times didn't just smash heads, it removed them. 